Well, good morning from Teni, everyone. We've got a few folks who've come to visit us. We've got uh, Prabhu Shankar, we've got Lokesh, and we've got uh, Shiva, who actually owns the restaurant where we in the hotel where we stayed. We also have Vikas Bai. We're all dressed up. Uh, I mean, we're all saddled up, and we are ready to hit uh, Vagamon. We'll be going via Kambam and then uh, Kumli, and then we're going to take the ride. It's going to be a beautiful move. We're looking forward to have a great time. But uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for uh, for stopping by. And Yogesh has got a really cool Instagram handle. I'll put it in the description. You guys can go check it out. But other than that, uh, the first stop is going to be for breakfast. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, Lokesh, my dear subscriber, is from Teni. And uh, we recommended uh, a place to have uh, breakfast. So he's taking us. So it's always good uh, to have somebody local. Um, it's going to help you in a lot of ways. Oh, this place looks beautiful. Oh, damn. How I wish I could take the bike over there and then fly a drone over there. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I'm pretty sure it would be. So he's got a, a Instagram page filled with uh, automotive content as well. So he's a casual photographer, I believe. He wants to take a photo. Cannot. Uh, yeah, yeah, bye. Thoda is taraf aja, bye. So <coughs> cannot deny somebody who's got talent and who's passionate about it. So let him take photos, and then we will be ready to go. But meanwhile, let me enjoy. This place looks bad, but that place looks beautiful. Take care. So nice meeting you. We'll catch up next time, Maramboda. You know, Kanjanal Rupo. Sorry? Same to you, same to you. Thank you. Babo, take care. Saringla. Kandipa, Ninga, 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 Ninga. Next meet up, Rupo, Sultra. So, Babo. Babo. Chalo, bye. Nikle. Good folks. Good people. It's time for us to go now. We'll be going to Kambam in about uh, 30 to 40 kilometers. From there, uh, we'll be going to Kumli. From Kumli, we'll take a right and we'll be going to Wagaman. So this is one of the reasons why we stopped uh, to experience the last uh, 40 to 50 kilometers, which uh, I presume is going to be beautiful. So um, yeah, thank God we uh, stayed back here. This is my uh, third uh, fuel up. Because by full tank, huh? पैसा है भाई तेरे पास तेरे पास तो पैसा है तेरे पास तो पैसा है एंड इवन आई हैव सो मच बट स्टिल फुल टैंक मेरे को भी थोड़ा कर देना भाई बहुत पेट्रोल है भाई ले जा पादर ल मां नाने इनो बागला अम्मा अरे दिर मार दे 21 1.7 अम्मा हाईवे से लपोना इनो கொஞ்சம் நல்லா தரும் மெட்ராஸ் <laughs> 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 என்ன 
We just uh, crossed Kambam, meaning from Tani Kambam is close to 50 kilometers if I'm not wrong. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So the next stop is going to be Kumli, where we might be stopping there for uh, lunch. Uh, depends on whether if you are hungry or not. If you are not, then we are going to proceed to Vagamon. And from Kumli, I've heard that the road is really good. Previously, it wasn't that great, but now they've uh, relayed the roads and now it looks beautiful. I can't wait to go there. That's the reason why we stayed back in uh, Thani yesterday. So uh, let's go. Let's ask Vikas by if he's enjoying. Guys, let's go. Let's do this. Kumali is about 12 kilometers from here. Yeah. Shall we fly the drone? After that, roads are very narrow. Yeah, shall we fly the drone here? Uh, no, drone, we let's not raise the drone here. Beautiful thing. Right there. Uh, let's fly the drone. Huh? I'm pretty sure even though it is the best GoPro on the market right now, it's not going to do justice to what the naked eye can see, but this place looks goddamn beautiful. I want to just stop and fly, keep flying the drone everywhere, guys. Wow. I don't want to go back home. We have officially entered Kerala. We have reached uh, Kumli, meaning we reached Kumli about five kilometers ago. Now we are on our way to uh, Vagaman. Um, yeah, I can feel the sudden decrease in uh, temperature. A lot of uh, Royal Enfields and uh, RX hundreds. And see, already I've spotted about three Royal Enfields, um, and we've got uh, a lot of gypsies here and there. Hilly roads. Wow. I missed this so much. I missed riding in car section so much. Oops, what happened here? Oh my goodness. I hope nothing really wrong. I hope everybody's fine. Oh, Diane. That looks nasty.
the roads weren't really great back then but now it looks like they've roads they've laid some uh, new roads here um sudden decrease in, in temperature feels so good it feels so good so many tea estates on both the sides makes your makes it look so scenic it's so beautiful can you guys see that damn beautiful i hope my tire doesn't get punctured that should be the last thing that we need to worry about nice ride man yes. i know Enjoy it? yeah yeah absolutely it's beautiful especially when 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 it is about to rain yeah. right it looks even better so yet yeah, bloody scenic shall we fly just shall we fly a drone here i mean like a drone shot here You won't believe how beautiful it's going to be after this. Okay, let's go. goodness it looks so beautiful <clears throat> excuse me it looks so beautiful beautiful man uh, okay yeah what more can we expect looks so beautiful <sighs> <laughs> anywhere you see it's so beautiful man as you can see right behind me it's beautiful so we stopped here and we thought maybe we'll uh, enjoy the scenic beauty because in about 20 kilometers we'll be reaching wagamon uh, the roads are hilly so it's going to take a little bit of time so we got vikas by here and uh, do you think we should be flying the drone right now yeah we should absolutely it's a uh, the beautiful scene okay okay so we'll fly the drone yeah yeah of course all right let's go let's do this we tried to fly the drone but uh, we couldn't because there was so much of wind that we had to bring it down but if you ever get a chance to come here do stop by for a while take pictures fly a drone do whatever you want but uh, that's what they say right what do they say the journey what do they say journey is important than destination yeah 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 exactly yeah. exactly the journey is more important than the destination but uh, yeah this this place is amazing i'm going to stop now i'm going to ask vikas bhai vikas bhai how do you feel about this place see seriously no words to say you know uh, no words to describe this place it's very beautiful okay uh, it's amazing and kerala is called as god's own country so anywhere you can just stop and have a picture it's so beautiful amazing so no uh, nice nice okay so yeah yeah so shall we go yeah, let's go let's keep going yeah
shortage that is where we are going to stay but uh, it looks like we got to do a little bit of off road you need some help okay he doesn't Sitting in Budal Kailash, which is no Kailash. This is uh, if it is in North India, I will say Budal Kailash. If it is in South, I will say Budal Kailash. Okay. So yeah, that's the name K I L A S. There is no H actually. Okay. So yeah, we are sitting there. This is the uh, rated among one of the top hotels in uh, Bangalore. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I mean, search of good food. Okay. That's all. So a lot of people have been asking uh, me. Uh, I've seen the comments saying that uh, what do you eat and where do you go and you know especially during traveling. So we are here in this restaurant as Vikas Bhai said Kailash or Kailas. Um, most of the time what we do is that we try to avoid non-veg uh, because if the meat is uh, something is wrong with the meat then it becomes difficult for digestion and then you don't want a bad stomach. Long story cut short. So most of the time we take a lot of eggs. we try to drink a lot of water but when it comes to food uh, predominantly it would be just rice and uh, egg at the most right no but uh, <laughs> i don't agree to him uh, being in kerala or machli nahi khau main fish nahi khau it means if i don't eat fish what is the use actually so i'm going to eat fish uh, i leave it to shashank what he wants to eat <laughs> so if he wants to eat egg or maybe aloo or even sambar is okay for me um I'm going to most probably watch him eat fish but I'm not going to eat fish <laughs>